Well, I'm very pleased to be joined today by Nick Boone of KLP Consultants. I've known Nick for many years, and uh, Nick has spent quite a lot of time in the last 20 years in the Isle of Man, I think, in fact, living there and, um, and running and launching, I think, a successful relocation business. Nick, why don't you tell me a little bit more about your background before we get on to some further questions? Yes, I went to the Isle of Man, well, uh, nearly 30 years ago now, um, and I joined uh, in the expansion of the banking uh, industry on the island in the mid-90s. Um, I worked for um, uh, Barclays Bank and Coots uh, Private Bank uh, for a number of years, and then more recently I uh, moved into the Isle of Man finance um organization within government which was designed to promote the island and to promote the island's finance sector around the world. So I've now, uh, since then, uh, in the last few years, for family reasons, we did relocate ourselves back to the UK uh, because we had uh, ageing parents and uh, some illnesses in the family, etc. Um, so, uh, you know, that was probably about eight or nine years ago. But during that time, we've retained strong links to the island uh, and I've travelled to the island um, with the exception of the pandemic, probably once or twice a month, uh, more or less every month during that time. Well, thanks, Nick. So, so a lot of the work you do is in the uh, related to the e-gaming industry and specifically relocation uh, in the e-gaming industry. When, when did e-gaming first arrive in the Isle of Man, Nick? Uh, well, e-gaming in the Isle of Man probably arrived sometime in the 90s. During that time, the island discovered that it had a few um, uh, improvements it wanted to make to its legislative structure to facilitate that business. And it did that quite successfully. So we saw around about the early 2000s, the noughties, um, a rapid expansion uh, in the gaming sector with the arrival of several of uh, uh, notable large players, one of which was PokerStars and the other one was micro gaming. Uh, we also had play tech. So, um, so the, so really, I think now we could perhaps say that uh, it's a, you know a, something in the region of twenty years since the island started participating and being a force in the e-gaming industry. So, we've been going for quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. and, and yes. through, Nick, can you talk us through a little bit more about your your own business that you run with your wife, and also maybe it'd be quite interesting to know what a typical day would look like when you're when you're working on a, a relocation exercise. Yes, well, so my wife started the business actually um, way back, probably about uh, 13, 14 years ago. And as far as we can best tell, um, we were the first entrance into this particular space uh, on the island. So uh, the business was really predicated on my wife's knowledge of the property industry. Um, and in my particular case, I'd been uh, hosting people and introducing them to the island in my role at Isle of Man government. So we hit on the idea that uh, based really on our own experiences of relocating to the island, that the island had a number of nuances um, that if we could uh, uh, provide new people coming to the island, new arrivals on the island with access to the different parts of government, to the property market, um, and to the other facilities that they needed to live and enjoy their lives on the island, that we perhaps had something that would uh, be of value to uh, the gaming employers uh, at that particular time. And that was very much endorsed. And we saw, although e-gaming was the biggest part of our business, we did actually see some of the other professionals, uh, accountants and lawyers, uh, make introductions to us for people that, that that were coming to the island to headquarter other businesses there under the island sort of headquartering uh, proposition. So that that sort of introduced us into it. So a typical day for us um, would be would be that we would be introduced by an employer um, uh, to an individual who was either due to come onto the island or perhaps investigate the island as a prospect for um, moving to a new job. And in that particular case, what we'd like to do, first of all, is to understand who we're actually dealing with, who, who that employee is. Um, what do they actually want? How do they live their life? Do they have a family, et cetera, et cetera. And having built up that uh, bank of knowledge with the individual, 
Um, what we then do is start to think about what facilities on the island would be of interest or importance to them as they make a move across. Um, and, and of course, we take in as well some of the cultural uh, differences that they may have if they're coming from abroad. Some come from the UK, some come from further afield. And then we would put together an itinerary for them, um, refine that itinerary uh, with them so that when they arrive on the island, effectively, we do a meet and greet service and we accompany them all the way around um, with the aim being to look after them from their arrival on the island through to their first meal on the island in the new home. And, and really, there's nothing we won't look at for them. So property is also you know, always a key aspect. Where are they going to live? What properties might be of interest to them? And we help them in their selection process too. Um, but also there might be other things, you know, perhaps they have children that want to go to school or to play school. Perhaps they're um, uh, people with a keen interest in a particular hobby or activity, in which case we can introduce them to uh, those groups on the island. I think one of the things we learned about an island um because obviously we you know we're talking here mainly about the isle of man but we also operate in malta too one of the things that we notice is that these islands have all of the interests all of the groups all of the things that you might normally expect of a bigger country but you might have to look a little bit harder for them they're perhaps not as uh, easily identifiable if you're new to that particular place so we aim to sort of find out that information for them make the introductions and get people started so that they can begin to see how they would live their life in that new location yeah that's a very comprehensive description it sounds like a very valuable service that you're providing actually and you alluded it to, to it briefly then but typically what countries are you relocating people from into the isle of man well, we, it's very interesting that because with Brexit happening, which obviously has had an impact on the Isle of Man, uh, many people felt <clears throat> that that would be the end of, of uh, European um, uh, uh, individuals coming to the island because for uh, immigration purposes, uh, the Isle of Man is the UK in this particular circumstance. But we've actually seen no difference at all. Um, we've seen Europeans coming and they can easily get to the Isle of Man. Um, we've also seen uh, a wide range of third party countries. So we've seen, you know, uh, India, um, uh, um, America, Canada, um, uh, odd places like Kazakhstan, um, uh, Belarus, uh, Romania, um, and so on and so forth. So to me, um, I would say there is no single country that, that we haven't seen at least one person from over that sort of 13, 14 years that we've been doing this business. Um, and we haven't seen any material change in the ability of those people to get jobs in the Isle of Man and to settle. And um, presumably, Nick, um, COVID must have had a devastating impact on the relocation business and on the island, relocating to the Isle of Man generally. Um, how did you find that overall experience? And, and have you seen things pick up in the last few months ago again? Yes, like everybody, we were affected by the lockdowns because nobody could travel. And uh, given given that the e-gaming space is really an IT based business, um, they have a capability to be able to work remotely and probably their ability to do that and to organise that as a business is uh, amongst the best out there because of that. Um, however, you, one of the things that's becoming apparent and we're seeing this more and more <clears throat> is that where you have uh, employees coming to a business, the one thing they can't get from working from home is uh, an immersion in the culture of the business. And the businesses do have different cultures, different ways of working. Um, and they need, like any other business, you know, uh, employees need to connect with each other. They need to bounce ideas off each other. So whatever remote working goes on, there's always a need to be in the location and that can that need can vary with the role that they the e-gaming business is recruiting for but i think we'll see we've seen now uh, those businesses looking to try and recruit people into the islands um 
I think what we're going to see is increasingly as the pandemic uh, becomes something uh, in the past, at least in terms of our memories, um, I, I think we'll see more people wanting to uh, relocate and not forgetting, of course, that the Isle of Man has many, many tax advantages to relocating. So for those employees who want to maximise the opportunity to uh, earn good money, uh, then living and working in the Isle of Man is something that should be very attractive and high on their agenda. Yeah, good after-tax uh, income, I guess. You must have had some very positive stories over the years, Nick, of people you've relocated to the Isle of Man. Do you keep in touch with anyone? Yes, I do. Yeah, we keep in touch with a number of people. Um, it, it's impossible doing such a personal business not to uh, become on very good terms with these people over a period of time. And uh, we see a number of people, well, we've seen some people who have actually come back for a second bite at our service where they've relocated from one place to another and we've been able to help them with that transition again. And that's lovely to see them again. Um, but we've also uh, retained some great links with some of the um, management and senior staff around the place um, who have come into the island over a number of years. And we've seen them, um, you know, raise their families uh, on the island, um, become part of um, charitable works, part of different activities um, and all sorts of things. And it's really it's quite nice for us in a way, because we look at those people and we see them. Uh, enjoying their life on the island uh, and we feel that we've made just a tiny contribution to getting them set up in that um, and I think that's recognised and it's it's one of the reasons why I enjoy this role actually um, and, and I'm very keen to you know keep working in this particular area as we look forwards. Thank you very much for your time Nick. So Nick Boone, KLP Consultants, thank you very much. Thanks very much, bye bye. The latest technical content delivered through global conversations with professionals for professionals.